And here we are. Once your machine has uh, restarted a few times, finally you will arrive at the Windows 7 desktop. And this is the default wallpaper that you will have, just this, the new Windows 7 uh, logo here. And the first thing you'll notice is the uh, desktop is pretty clean, there are no gadgets, uh, and uh, it's only the recycle bin is the only icon that you actually have. Uh, apart from the others down here on the taskbar, we'll come to those in a moment. So bit by bit I'm going to introduce you to uh, some of the new features of Windows 7. Uh, now, the first thing always to begin with, of course, is the Start button. Uh, much the same as a Vista, it's uh, a Windows logo, and again, it's, it's very much the same kind of layout as Vista. And the same goes for the uh, search area here, uh, which is in fact faster than uh, Vista. So in fact, if I type uh, uh, Internet Explorer, it uh, actually gives you a few different options this time. Now, in Vista, it will just search literally for the program Internet Explorer, and lo and behold, there it is at the top. Um, that would happen in Vista. But you wouldn't get this. Uh, you wouldn't actually have it grouped uh, things you can find in Control Panel, Files, uh, more results. So actually, it's a, a much deeper search than uh, Vista ever was, and certainly faster. There's often a bit of a delay once you type a word uh, into the search on, on, on Vista. So back here, you'll notice that so you actually have your your programs list here. Uh, now there is no sort of pinned area. You do have that in Vista. That's gone, and that's because of the taskbar. And again, we'll come to the, that in a moment. That's the reason why, because you can actually pin stuff. Uh, to the taskbar instead of this uh, top area here. Um, the all programs, that works exactly the same way as Vista and you'll notice how that uh, uh, changes there. And again these are uh, somewhat similar but the one big addition to the new menu, start menu here, uh, is the jump lists from uh, specific items. So if I go to get started you'll notice that there's a little uh, arrow pointing to the right uh, and as I go over there it'll actually then push that across to the right uh, giving you a list of tasks uh, that you can action. And that very same feature uh, is available in the taskbar. So if I go down here and right click on Internet Explorer for example, there we are, it pops up with uh, a number of tasks that I can action uh, with Internet Explorer. So I can launch the program, I can unpin it from the taskbar, as you can see the icon exists there, so it's uh, pinned to this new taskbar area. But there are various other options as well, so uh, frequent options, uh, there you are, into uh, Welcome to Internet Explorer 8, these are some of the default ones, there's Hotmail, look. Um, but what that can do is, the more you browse the web with Internet Explorer, your frequent ones will be the most popular sites you visit, so it's just a handy uh, jump list, uh, basically a quick shortcut. Uh, and there are various other um, tasks as well, so you can just open a new tab uh, straight away, rather than going to Internet Explorer first. Uh, and a private browsing option, you can change those tasks if you wish. And jump lists is something that's available uh, on every option from the taskbar down here. So uh, it's media player down here, if I right click that. Uh, there you are, so it's got frequent, that's one of the ones I've uh, played. You can launch the program, unpin from the taskbar. Uh, and there's a couple of uh, options for, for the music there as well. The last one I've got here on the moment uh, is the uh, documents there. So if I right click on that, it gives me all the documents I want, so it can be a text or a picture or, or music, uh, and there's a Windows Explorer shortcut as well. So these are all pinned to the task bar. If I wanted to pin something else, I can simply uh, uh, get the option from here, so Windows Media Center, right click, and pin to taskbar. And there we are, it's now down at the bottom, and if I then right click that, it'll then give me a jump list uh, for that. So the idea behind any of these jump lists is really to speed up uh, the way you work in Windows 7, and it's a fantastic addition uh, to the operating system, so I can pin another item here, so uh, sticky notes, that's a very handy uh, tool, uh, pin to taskbar, and there we are, it's appeared once again, and I can click on those, and there we are, it's a new note that I can uh, type into uh, and, and resize. Um, and uh, th yeah, these are nice uh, addition to uh, Windows 7. They had very similar things in Vista, but they're much uh, much nicer in, uh, in in the new operating system. So let's close that one down, delete that note. Another graphical change to uh, the Windows 7 desktop is the uh, peak ability, and I'll uh, show you that uh, just by opening a couple of uh, windows. Just uh, resize these. 
and overlay them. There you are, you can see I've got uh, two overlaid. Now if I wanted to get back to uh, the desktop, just see something that uh, maybe is lurking behind these windows, I can just move my cursor to the right, uh, bottom right hand corner, it's this little area here, and as you'll see, it uh, just phases those out, you get a little sort of glass aero effect uh, on that. But you can actually see uh, items behind it. And this is really, really uh, useful when you've got multiple windows open, uh, and you've got icons on your desktop, um, and something you're looking for. You can actually then see them uh, through, that's a very uh, clean way of, uh, of, of working through uh, different windows. And it is, in fact, clickable as well. So, again, if I hover over, but then click, it'll actually then uh, minimize those windows at the bottom. And as you can see, they're down here, and that's the new control panel icon uh, showing you that's uh, one of the windows that's just been minimized. There you are. I can expand it and reduce it again. Now, as you saw there, it's actually you get a thumbnail view. I had this in Vista, but it gives you a more uh, a useful uh, peak of uh, of the window that uh, might be open and it's particularly useful uh, when you're using the internet and that's what I'll show you now so if I just open up Internet Explorer if I just uh, have another tab so we've got uh, two tabs open uh, on IE8 at the moment and as you can see down at the uh, the Internet Explorer icon down here, uh, you can see that it's slightly tiled. And as I ho hover over, there you are, you can now see that uh, there's two windows, and that's real time. So if there's any video playing or anything moving on screen, you'll actually then see it in those thumbnails also. And I can actually shift uh, between the two here, and in real time, it'll move between each uh, tabbed window. So that's a handy uh, tool. And as you can see, the ones that actually then have an outline uh, are the, the, sort of the active windows. So even though I've got Internet Explorer open here, uh, these are our active windows lurking behind. And again, you can use the uh, Show Desktop facility simply to get back to a blank desktop and call those up. So once I call that up, you'll see that uh, I've got multiple windows open there, again with Show Desktop they'll all sort of fade out to the background and by clicking that back to the desktop so uh, Windows 7 makes uh, organizing your desktop much easier and the whole idea of Windows originally was, was to actually tile those uh, boxes uh, and as the operating system has developed more people have uh, more and more Windows open all the time people are obviously with browsers uh, they're going to want control panel various programs like Photoshop, Word. People all have them uh, open all the time and uh, the thing about computers these days is they can handle having all these programs open at once and finally uh, Windows 7 is making the most of that. Now the next thing I'm going to show you are two more uh, interface tweaks which also help to improve your productivity uh, within Windows. So I'm just going to open up uh, two more windows here I've actually got the uh, My Computer and uh, Default Programs window here. And the first one is a Snap and Shake. So if I actually just move my mouse uh, cursor to the top here and I hold down the left mouse button, so I'm actually now holding the window, as you can see I can move it as normal, uh, but if I give it a, a shake, it'll actually reduce the windows that uh, are behind it. If I give it a shake again, it'll bring it back up. And it can also add some uh, further windows to the, uh, to the bargain, so if I just... Uh, tile those so they're above it. Again, if I hold with the left mouse button here, give it a shake, it'll reduce the others, and back again. At first, that uh, might not seem that useful, but it's quite a handy way as you're, you know, you're always holding uh, the mouse, and you're pretty much always holding the left uh, mouse button to uh, move things around the screen, so it's a, a very intuitive way of actually reducing the windows uh, behind the one you actually are currently using, rather than manually going to each one and minimizing those to the taskbar. And the other interface tweak that really helps uh, productivity is the uh, Snap 2 features for I just reduce Internet Explorer there. So I've got these two windows open. If I uh, again hold down the left mouse button, drag that one to the right, it'll then uh, open up this uh, effect in the background which actually snaps to that particular size and again I can do it uh, with another window pull that across and it'll do the same so there we are, they're actually tiled side by side 
and having them tiled side by side uh, is really, really useful for something like uh, Word. So you can actually have two different versions of documents open at the same time. This is really helpful if you don't have dual monitors running, um, although, in fact, it does work on dual monitors as well. But for most people on a standard monitor, this is a good way of getting uh, uh, two uh, versions side by side. So it works for photos as well. That can be really handy. You can have the original on one uh, and do some editing uh, on another. So that's the uh, basics of some of the interface tweaks uh, within uh, Windows 7. Uh, and in the next video, we'll look at some of the more core changes uh, and how to customize your Windows 7 desktop.